This is Susan Bassey, and this is a video about a holiday party that is sponsored by divorce attorneys, where judges, court clerks, court reporters, court staff, and bailiffs in full uniform attend. But this is what it looks like for the rest of us. Hi. Good, how are you? <laughs> Hi. Hey. Do you have any questions? Huh? Do you have any questions? So that is. These are divorce attorneys Nicole Ford and B.J. Fadham. They serve to represent children in their parents' divorce case. Nicole Ford serves on the Domestic Violence Council in Santa Clara County, and both of them are active members of the Leadership Committee for the Local Bar of Attorneys in Santa Clara County that hosted this event. They get restraining orders in order to chill speech, and this is how that works. You guys got a permit to put this red carpet out on the street? I'll check. I'll do a records request. You know, we already had people in there filming it, so it doesn't really matter what happens right now. We already got the video. So you can let Sherry know that. Tell her Susan Bassey said so. Tell her all the people whose complaints she was shredding are a little bit upset. And so now we have fit photos and videos of the Glass House Holiday Party for 2023. And we're still waiting for payment for the photographers from 2016 that they asked to photograph it. You would think with all the money they have for red carpets and these parties and special events and hosting the judges and hosting all the court staff that they could pay the photographers they asked to do work seven years ago. This annual holiday party has been going on for years. Divorce attorneys with big law firms pay $5,000 to sponsor tables that will eventually seat judges, their court staff, and their bailiffs. And then the divorce attorneys arrange to have songs sung where they mock litigants and all the money they take from them in family court. Sherry Diamond. Sherry Diamond is an attorney who is employed with the local bar. She was there that day checking in all the judges and the court staff. She's in charge of the membership, but she also does fee arbitration and is supposed to be the person handling complaints about unfairness in the courts and we have written about her. You understand First Amendment right, right? And that I'm out here, right here on the sidewalk. You understand that, right? She's the court yes. manager over at Civil and Family Resources. Really? Oh, you, your hands are you full, aren't they? Good. Okay. The woman who was so concerned with my recording her in public is Mickey Fadham. She is the wife of BJ Fadham, and has exhibited a pattern similar to what we have seen with her husband. She's gotten restraining orders and unlawful detainers. She runs the corporation of her husband's law firm. She also has an uncanny interest in beads that are similar to the beads that were used for the charm bracelets for Women SV, a nonprofit that was giving women charm bracelets while they were giving private divorce attorneys referrals. Divorce attorneys generate income from several different methods. One, they can charge clients to represent them in a divorce or custody case. Two, they can be appointed by a judge to act as minors counsel for children whose parents are involved in a divorce case. And in those cases, if the parents can't afford to pay those attorneys, then the government pays them. 
we recently obtained this document that shows the attorneys paid throughout the state of California to represent poor children. In Santa Clara County alone, in 2020, one divorce attorney earned over $123,000 just in that year, paid by taxpayers when they were representing children in a divorce case and their parents couldn't afford to pay. These divorce attorneys also act as private judges, and people have been complaining that private judges, minors counsel, and divorce attorneys are responsible for taking custody of their children, removing them from their homes, and depleting their lifetime retirement and savings account. And so they are angry, and they came down this day to the holiday party where red carpets, swanky meals, and all the glitz of Silicon Valley was paid for by the divorce attorneys who had been paid for by them. First song on our musical agenda is A Rich Guy Got Served Justice at the Courthouse. In family court, the only justice that is served is justice for the attorneys who are privately paid. And when those attorneys aren't paid, they arbitrate their own attorney's fees awards down at the local bar, where people like Mickey Fadham, Sherry Diamond, Nicole Ford, and BJ Fadham will be in charge. Divorce attorneys have been increasingly getting more and more restraining orders to block journalists and members of the public who start to question their conduct. The judges who grant these orders are the same judges who are inside those private parties where cameras and journalists are kept out unless we get the information leaked to us, which we have. And this is the holiday song that was being sung to the theme of the Sopranos as the judges ate their free lunches sitting there with their bailiffs and their court clerks with them by their side as they did. The next song is The Hearing Today. One day I took a notion to file a motion last May, and now my heart is cheering. We'll have our hearing today. Last night I hardly slumbered. My exhibits are numbered. Hooray! I spent a month preparing to have this hearing today. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go. Move on with the show. The judge's eyes are starting to glow. Giddy up, giddy up, please don't say any more words. My estimate was 30 minutes and I wanna make sure it's heard. Oh, now some lady's crying and her husband is lying away. If they will stop their blaring, blaming, I'll have my hearing today. I have a witness waiting, my clients hating to pay. And now I'm really fearing we won't have a hearing today. The court's taking a break and the interpreter's gone away. If I can ever get started, I'll have my hearing today. The client is anxiously counting the hours that they must pay. And my witness texts me as to whether they'll be called today. Giddy up, giddy up, let's go. Move on with the show. The judge's eyes are starting to glow. Giddy up, giddy up, please don't say any more words. My estimate was 30 minutes and I wanna make sure my hearing is heard. I see the clocks ticking, the daylight slipping away. My hope is disappearing that I'll have a hearing today. The sun is barely glowing, the staff is going away. I hear the bailiff declaring, I hear the clerk declaring, I hear the judge declaring, you'll have no hearing today. You'll have no hearing today. 